Welcome wilderness explorers, it's Miss Gisa. Today we are at Death Valley and we are going to explore the animals that live here and the food chain. There is an amazing food chain that helps desert animals survive the harsh climate of Death Valley. What's a food chain you ask? Well, you know that plants and animals need energy to survive, which they get from food and water. Plants get their energy from water, soil, and the sun. Animals, on the other hand, rely on each other for energy. A food chain describes how different organisms eat each other. Food chains start with a plant and end with an animal. Since food chains in the desert start with plants, let's talk about some of these desert plants. Plants that live in the desert need very little water to grow. Some desert plants bloom after rainfall. Other plants have roots to reach water that is deep underground. Cacti are very unique. They grow in deserts because they are able to store water in their stems for a long time. Instead of leaves, they have sharp spines sometimes. Cacti come in many shapes and may grow as tall as a tree. Some have colorful flowers or fruits you can eat like prickly pears. All desert plants are unique and have adaptations that help them survive when the temperatures rise in the summer. Some plants have a waxy coating that protect them from losing water. Barrel cacti have deep folds in the stem that expand with water when there's rain. They store extra water to use later. Cacti and other plants are at the bottom of the food chain. They make their food using sunlight. They do not eat any living things. Now, let's see how animals come into the food chain. Next in the desert food chain come the herbivores. Herbivores are animals that eat only plants. Animals like jackrabbits use their sharp teeth to eat around the thorns on a prickly pear cacti. Chiquallas and kangaroo rats never drink water. This is because they get their water from the foods they find in the desert. Chiquallas get the water they need from the leaves of plants and kangaroo rats get water from the seeds they eat. These kangaroo rats only come out from their underground nests at night to eat because they are nocturnal. Desert tortoises and mule deers are also herbivores. Rattlesnakes are also nocturnal, but they are carnivores, meat eaters, animals that eat other animals. The rattlesnake attacks the kangaroo rat who might be hopping by. It swallows the rat whole and also gains nutrients from the seeds that the kangaroo rat ate. Sidewinder snakes don't drink water, but get moisture from the animals they eat. Many sidewinder snakes like to hunt small rodents at night on the mesquite flat sand dunes. A red-tailed hawk is also a carnivore and hunts snakes. Hawks, bobcats, and mountain lions are at the top of the food chain. Nothing eats these animals. They are called top carnivores. Omnivores, animals that eat plants and other animals, have lots of choices for food in the desert. Ravens and coyotes are omnivores. Coyotes are also considered decomposers. Decomposers eat the leftovers. Bacteria and worms are decomposers who feed on rotting plants and animal waste. Decomposers clean up the desert and put nutrients back into the soil. Another desert food chain begins with wildflowers. Big fat caterpillars that later develop into sphinx moths eat the wildflowers. Next, birds and small rodents eat these caterpillars and moths. Finally, snakes and foxes hunt the birds and rodents. You can find out more about food chains in our episode featuring ocean food chains. And you can find out more about the desert in our Death Valley National Park episode, along with the Joshua Tree National Park episode. Enjoy learning about these great habitats and amazing animals. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.